Bone marrow! Donate your bone marrow! Quick and easy! Five minutes! Five minutes. I'm Jenny Vallis here at the UCI campus with A3M, B-Boys Anonymous, and Victor King, who put a campaign together for Janet Lang for her bone marrow drive. Janet is one of our focus patients. Uh, she is a UCLA alum. Uh, she actually went to school with one of um, our uh, colleagues at A3M and that's how we found out about her and we've just been working on different drives uh, for her campaign and working with her family and friends to organize bone marrow drives. According to Sarah Arroyo, numbers for minority donors are unfortunately very low. Well right now only 30 percent of the National Bone Marrow Registry is made up of minority descent. Um, so specifically, there is 8% African American, 9 to 10% Latino or Hispanic, 7% um, all the different Asian communities, 0.1% uh, uh, the Pacific Islander community, and 1% Native American, and 3% multi-race. So if you're any of those, you're especially in need. And also, this is a personal mission for Sarah because Janet is a very good friend of hers. I met her my freshman year of college. Um, she was my roommate's best friend. Um, Janet's story from beginning to now has impacted me, you know, more because I, I knew her before. And um, it's tough sometimes. It's, it's not the easiest, uh, but we're trying our best. Uh, trying to register as many people as possible. That's why we need all your help and everybody else's if you know someone. Um, you can go to our website also if you are not around for a live drive. Um, it's www.a3mhope.org and then you just order a home kit and we send you a kit and then you fill, you fill it out, do the cheek swabs, they're pretty easy, and then return it back to us and then you'll be on the registry. Giving hope to Janet and many patients like her. And for Victor King, it was a YouTube video that Janet had actually released that prompted Victor to take action. A friend of mine uh, that went to UCI um, posted it on my Facebook wall and said, you should check this out. So I did, and then um, now we're here. And how long have you been a part of this campaign? Uh, well, I found out, um, I saw the video on Tuesday of last week, so since then. Oh, so pretty recent. Did you register to be a donor? Of course, that was the first thing I did after I finished the video. Could you tell me a little about the process? Did you have any fears about this? Well. The only fear that I had about the process was that Janet would not find the right match. That was the only thing I was afraid of. Everything else was subsequent, you know, and like, so what happened was when, after I saw the thing, I just went directly to my, well, I, first I Googled how I could help, like uh, how I could donate, and I found one in LA, and I just drove there just right away. I didn't even, I didn't even bring a jacket, I, I realized afterwards. And um, I was expecting to, you know, the, the whole needle thing, but uh, all it was was a cotton swab test, and I was like, oh, that's it. And then uh, on the way out, they're like, you can do a, a drive if you have a location that, you know, that can host these things. So I immediately contacted um, whoever was the, uh, the president of the B-Boys Anonymous here. And um, the next day, we put out a, a Facebook invite, and that's it. Um, I just got a message from Victor. Um, he sent me the video of um, Janet desperately asking us for help. And B Boys and I just decided to get involved and help out with that. Tell me about the shirts. Did you actually get to meet Janet? I've actually never met her, um, never spoken to her or anything. But um, we actually uh, made some shirts. There was a photo that I found uh, on on her website when I was just kind of searching for more information, and I saw this photo. And um, people might think that it's it's uh, that that I I actually physically gave it to her, but I didn't have the privilege of actually seeing her because she's obviously treating her sickness. But uh, so what I did was I took a photo and I edited it and I put love on there and her website. So it's basically saying, it's saying a lot I, to me because it's saying uh, it's just hope, you know. And it's and it's and, and I, I tried to make it as selfless as possible because usually on the on the on the the love things I always tag my signature, but instead of that I put helpingjanet.com, which is the website for more information. And 100% um, of everything is going to go to Janet. Um, not even I'm not even going to cover the cost. You know, it's about I don't know how many shirts are there, but there's uh, over two thousand dollars worth. And uh, after the drive, I'm just going to give it to the the Marrow Drive people and say, whatever you make, just give it to Janet. And that's it. My name's Doris. Okay, and what year are you at UCI? I'm a third year. Okay, and why did you decide to donate today? Um, 
Well, I had a friend who died of brain cancer in freshman year of high school, and like, I don't think there's much help for that, but like, my friend told me about this, and I thought that I should come and register and just help if I could. And it said like, someone of Chinese descent would be like a like better match, so I thought I'd just try. Yeah, All right, Victor King, do you have any last shout outs? Shout out to Janet Lang. Uh, I read that you wanted to be a teacher, that you studied at UCLA to be a, a teacher. And, um, and, and somewhere you wrote that you'd be afraid that you'd never be able to um, be able to do that. But know that you've already taught me and uh, thousands if not millions of lives that, uh, that, that there are more important lessons to be learned outside of the classroom than inside the classroom. For more information on the A3M Be The Match campaign, visit bethematch.org. This is Jenny Valles reporting here at the UCI campus for the Save Janet campaign.